New security features coming to Waikiki. Dozens of cameras will go up in an effort to curb crime. Bridget Namata joins us with details in a story that is near 10. Bridget. Marissa, the Waikiki Neighborhood Board says the plan is to have these new cameras up within the next year or two to bring crime down. Waikiki, world renowned beaches, luxury hotels, popular restaurants, but a recent spike in violent crimes have pushed some seedy areas to the forefront. I have um, a daughter here and I have a fiance here, and, and, and I worry when they go up by themselves. It really worries me a lot. Last month, a stabbing outside the modern hotel left one person in critical condition. Last summer, a pregnant woman fell victim to a violent purse snatching robbery outside of the Waikiki Aquarium. And in late 2017, Sergeant William Brown, a Kaneohe based Marine, was stabbed to death when he was out with friends. Crimes against visitors went up a little bit. Uh, pickpocketing, like the purse incident, things like that went up. We've got a group who loves to run in the front door of a store and steal something and run back out and jump in the car. Now, Robert Finley with the Waikiki Neighborhood Board says the city is installing cameras, 50 to be exact. They'll be installed throughout Waikiki, including Kuhio Avenue and side streets through a public-private partnership. Finley says the cameras will help Honolulu police. By having the cameras active, by having somebody watching them, they can direct officers to wherever a crime is happening, or at least get good uh, evidential information on what happened at the site. Hopefully, it will deter people who know there's a camera on them and say, okay, I'll take my illegal activity someplace else. I reached out to the, to the city for more information. I was told Mayor Caldwell will hold a press conference on the matter soon. We'll let you know when he does. Marissa.